Welcome, guys. It is March 14th, 2021. I'm here in the operating room with this guy and Professor Dayton. So, as you guys know, this week, uh, Tuesday, uh, Monday and Tuesday, is your midterm exam. I gave an extensive rundown on that last week. I don't want to take a chance on saying the wrong thing and contradicting myself, so watch last week's video if you haven't, and read the announcements. All the info is right there. Um, a little bit of news item for this week is the growing need to have uh, proper Zoom etiquette uh, during legal proceedings okay so two stories i'll put links uh in in the uh, description here uh but in the first one there was a criminal hearing um and there was a uh, person kobe harris 21 years old accused of assault with intent to commit bodily harm less than murder uh, against his girlfriend they uh, he and his girlfriend along with the prosecutor and the judge uh, appeared on a Zoom hearing, and the prosecutor very adeptly determined that both the uh, the complainant, the girlfriend, and the defendant were actually in the same house. The girlfriend was looking nervously off camera, uh, which led them to believe that the defendant was probably threatening her. Uh, so the prosecutor interrupted the hearing, sent the police uh, to the door, and the man was arrested. So. Uh, tip, even though we are all uh, working from home, if you have a protective order that says not to be near someone, you do have to follow that. Uh, a lower stakes in some ways, but still highly disturbing case is the one that gives rise to the picture behind me. Uh, Dr. Scott Green uh, in California uh, was appearing for a traffic court hearing uh, via Zoom. Uh, he was contesting a traffic violation, and as the judge uh, gaveled in the hearing, uh, he said, are you performing surgery? And the doctor said, I am not a cat. I'm ready to go forward. Uh, he did not say he was not a cat, but he did say he was ready to go forward, uh, even though he was operating on a patient at the time. Um, and he said it was no big deal, uh, that he could uh, defend himself in the traffic case while operating. Uh, we, we always say that a lawyer who defends himself has a fool for a client. Um, a doctor who defends himself in the middle of an operation, I think it's safe to say he's also a fool. He's facing some uh, disciplinary action as well. So remember, professional standards still apply when you're on Zoom. Uh, if you were in a professional setting that goes for class, that goes for uh, court hearings that goes for meetings. Um, there have been some pretty high profile cases of people who have gotten in trouble for sexual harassment for doing things on camera that you should not do and would not do if you were in a room with people. So just be mindful of this. We're in somewhat uncharted territory, but you still have to behave. Um, guys, that is our fun and exciting news for the week. Uh, we hope you are well. We hope you are safe. This week you will get into criminal law. It's a very interesting chapter. Uh, so study up, uh, take your midterm, and we'll be coming your way again next week. Have a good week.